Hey, um, this is Caroline again with a very quick uh, video this morning to help you again um, visualize how um, I place my day trades and to help you know. I send out the trade signals uh, based on long term trades that would last a couple of days. But I trade on a daily basis and I trade on the 5 minute chart or the 15 minute charts. So as you can see I have uh, about uh, 4 different screens on my side. I made a decision that I'm going to focus on uh, Australia dollar and uh, Australia and US dollar pair for the uh, rest of this month and maybe uh, next month. I just want to focus on one currency pair right now. I know the sets up are everywhere uh, right now so watch the charts even if you look at uh, the Canadian pair versus US dollar you can see that there is some um, uh, they have even uh, opposite with this one so I just wanted to show you something really quick on this chart <coughs> sorry that could help you uh, with your trade uh, on daily basis so as you can see on my screen I have four different time frames this is the daily chart the daily chart to help me just keep a big picture on what is going on and this is the one hour chart and this is the 5 minutes chart and this is the 15 minute chart so visually as you can see you can see that this move up here in the 1 minute chart was very visible here in the, in the in the 15 minutes was also very visible here in the 5 minutes chart so as you could see here the 5 minutes and the 15 minutes once these two correlates you know you can take a very quick trade with the, with, with this two you can see I have a moving average there 8 and 13 on all the charts so what I do on a daily basis I want to see price below these two moving averages on the on the one hour chart like it is here and I want to see price uh, below you can see what happens here this happened just this morning that was about five minutes past nine at the open of, uh, of uh, the European session and this is the same thing here that's the same candle here at night at the uh, and precisely at the more at that moment you can see that I took a trade which is quite positive it's already up uh, this point of this video is 30 pips it's already 30 pips down so what I'll be watching right now it's um I'm expecting the price to come down somewhere around this channel here on the one hour chart that should be about one or to test that low there again at 10612 this is for my daily trade for the long term trade I'm still expecting this pair to drop around here at 10500 but what I want to tell you is this is a very simple chart as you can see I have just two moving averages on both charts on the 5 minutes chart on the 15 minute chart and on the 1 hour chart here so these are the two, two I, lo I, I, I look at so if price is below the moving averages like it is here we're going down it's a very very good trade and I'm expecting price to at least come down to 10614 <coughs> and it's moving in that direction but if it doesn't get there what I'll do I'll wait when price this price close above the five minutes chart the, above the, the this moving averages I would close the trade and then walk out of my computer but you can see yesterday I had quite a couple of trades this one was 27 pips and then there was another one that goes to uh, 15 p uh, 30 pips and that was, that was a very good trades for me yesterday but you see today we all have a very good set of trades two positions open here one is 37 pips plus the other one is 30 31 pips plus uh, as you can watch you see that um, once this is happening on price close below the moving average in the five minutes and also in the 15 minutes you want to go short or go long that give you a quick uh, um, 20 pips if you're looking for 20 pips in a day so you can do but you can see my net short all the three positions that are open is about 89 pips at the moment so I hope that this helps you I'll just put this this two, this two moving averages on both your charts, five minutes and fifteen minutes, 
and watch if price is above the, this and below this you don't do anything they both have to be in the same direction for you to take the trade so this was a very good one because at nine o'clock the first candle at five closes below the moving average and the, and the third candle which was the, f the 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 first of the 15 minute closing you could see that the 15 minutes was also closing below the moving averages and five the first three candles were also below the moving average so at that point in time at this five minute here which went up they have given you opportunity to enter the trade as a, at, a, at, a, at, a, at a better price so i hope that this helps you do you just place this few uh two moving averages on your charts and don't worry about the oscillators they are they can help you now, but on a daily uh, 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 if you have to trade on a daily basis this is a simple day trading strategy that you can implement today now and helps you implement do it on all the pairs but I like doing it on one pair then you, it, it keeps you focused and then you can you know uh, catch some of these pips as they move 25, 50 by the time you know you have 50 or 20, 30 or 80 pips in a day. So right now I can close the streets, all of them and I'm done for the day for it, uh, 90, 93 pips. As you can see that's a net short position 93 pips but I think on my long term trade this one, this pair has to still go down based on because we're making a complete reversal as a reversal pattern happening here on the daily chart. So I hope this helps you out. Uh, take care. God bless you.